Hello there ladies and gentlemen, it's Alexander Hilly 123 here and it's time for a new video. And as you can see from the title today, it is my Resident Evil 3 Nemesis Remake Hopes, Fears and Expectations video. Now I've got to say straight off the bat here that I hope my technical issues are sorted. In my last video that had my ugly mug on, I can't remember what it was exactly, but there was a video problem and an audio problem. I don't think my blue snowball was being used for the audio and the video wasn't even in 720 HD and I thought I figured it out I thought it was to do with the USB slots that I was putting the microphone and the webcam in turns out that's not the case and I'm actually looking now and I've just realized this isn't going to be in 720 HD as well but I've figured out the audio problem this is going to be using my blue snowball it was because of the Elgato capture device um, sound capture was using itself as the default device and I didn't even realize because I re-downloaded Elgato and sometimes I'll agree to have the sound device and sometimes I won't because I don't really use it but once in a blue moon I think oh I might start using it so I've just not uninstalled it because I think you've got to uninstall or install them both together which is a pain in the ass if you don't have the Elgato and you don't know believe me it is um, but I just told it to not make itself the default sound capture so now this blue snowball is and I'm convinced it's picking up the sound but no the actual webcam the Logitech webcam the blue light at the top is not there and it should be so it's picking up the video obviously I can see myself it's working I can see the little red icon is on to indicate that but 720p is not working but 480p is and I don't know why you know what it's like with technological problems, ladies and gentlemen? They all come together at once, but hey, I'm going to have to try and figure that out. And if I can't, then it might well be the case that there's something wrong with it. I might uninstall it, reinstall it. I don't know, but I can't be asked right now. But as you can see from this video, ladies and gentlemen, this is not about technological problems. This is about one of the greatest video games of all time. It's Resident Evil 3 Nemesis, and this is my hopes, fears, and expectations video. Not in HD, probably, um, detailing what I feel is going to happen, what I think Capcom will give us, what I fear about it and what I won't like and what I hope to see and what I think I will like etc etc. So I'm also going to put in the drop down box my review of the Resident Evil 2 remake. I guess in this video I can't help but talk about the remake of 2 along the way because it's going to be on the same RE engine and the element of surprise with this game is not going to be there because we know what we're getting most probably. A third person survival horror game we're backtracking puzzles, a lot of elements of the original game, but they will also put the new spin on it as well. Let's hope the zombies aren't as vulgar and the grab uh, animations are not as ridiculous because they were fucking unbelievable in Resident Evil 2 Remake. But um, I'm also going to put down in the drop down box uh, my initial Resident Evil 2 Remake hopes, fears and expectations video from... Way back in August 2015, right about when the remake of 2 was just announced. And I've not actually watched that since I made it, watched it back. So it'll be interesting to watch that and see what I'm saying, you know. Obviously not knowing that it was going to be third person. Because I've wanted tank controls and pre-rendered graphics and all that shit. But fortunately, obviously... We weren't to get it. I'm just on my Twitch, it's not on my Twitch, my Twitter here, hoping to see my videos and my pictures that I posted uh, way back when on my Twitter, but I can't find them. They seem to have gotten rid of that, actually, for some reason. But the reason I'm doing that is because in January 2018, somebody posted basically a link and a bit of information as to what the remake of 2 was going to be like, and I think they got it pretty much spot on. There are a few things that ended up being in the remake that he said wouldn't be and vice versa but he got it pretty spot on so it must have been somebody in the know but yeah if we're going to use the same engine with resident evil 3 remake then some changes for me have to be made so here's what i want from the remake of 3 it's a controversial one undoubtedly but i would like some kind of stamina system in the game there were a very strange bunch survival horror fans and I know a lot of people won't like this but I think it completely makes sense when you consider the fact that Nemesis is very fast and you can't have Jill 
who is obviously going to be in the third gear, needless to say, obviously. Uh, you can't have her jogging about at the speed that Leon and Claire do in the second game. It's just not going to work. Now, people say that Resident Evil 3 is more of an action game than Resident Evil 2 in ways, but what people neglect to remember is that Resident Evil 3 is definitely harder than 2, and I think you get less resources overall. Once you play the game a lot, you know how to get a lot of resources. But with Resident Evil 2, you get over 100 handgun bullets, Neil, before you get to the bloody police station. It's ridiculous. It's the easiest of the classic games. But, yeah, a stamina system or to make Jill faster. I don't want the zombies to be as tanky. Everyone's got to be in agreement with that. Gunpowder, which was in the remake of 2, it's... The only classic Resident Evil game, I think, that did gunpowder was free. It did it better than any other game, uh, or any other Resi game since then, you know, the newer ones that have included gunpowder. Because, you know, you made gunpowder A plus A, handgun bullets, A and B, I think it's sh like grenade rounds, different grenade rounds. A lot of people don't know you can actually combine certain grenade rounds with gunpowder. Fantastic. You can make enhanced ammo, so much you could do. Very, very good. Really fun. Freeze rounds, magnum bullets, shotgun shells. I want that aspect of the game in the remake of 3. But there's a lot of things I love about 3. Whether it's the mechanics that I enjoy. The, the dodge was very good for back in the day. The 180 turn. You being just about the right speed to avoid Nemesis, but he could still catch you up and hit you. There's a lot of elements to the remake of 3 that I don't feel like Capcom are going to nail because gameplay-wise, I don't trust them. If anybody's coming across this video for the first time and they don't know me, I do criticise Capcom a lot because they ruined the series and fucked it over for a long time after 4, after Lord McCarney left, and I think they deserve a bit of criticism. I've spoken to quite a few people who are Resident Evil fans and there's varying opinions across the board. Amongst the gaming journalists, Resident Evil 2 Remake was critically acclaimed and people absolutely adored it. But they're not always the right people to ask uh, thoughts about the game, if you ask me. I'm sure the same guy who couldn't complete the Cuphead tutorial loved it as well, for example. <laughs> oh, joking. But no, I mean, it's a difficult game, naturally, Resident Evil 2. And that should be a good thing, but I feel like it's hard for the wrong reasons. Back in the day with the older Resi games, you can dodge the zombies apart from the original where they kind of lock onto you. And my lord, isn't that the case with a remake of 2? At least when you've got a defensive item, you use your knife, your grenades against them, etc. But the two tanky and avoiding them was very annoying. And yes, there's backtracking and there's narrow corridors, but in a third person perspective, I just don't think it works as well as in, you know, tank controls and pre-rendered graphics but I don't feel like there's any point in complaining about that now because we've known for a couple of years that that's not what we we're going to get with a remake of 2 and it's sure as hell not going to be what we get with a remake of 3 but they have to change the zombies AI or the way that they work in some way now, enemy wise we've got dogs let's bring them back let's get the spiders involved I'm an arachnophobe let's get the spiders involved that would be awesome and the brain suckers as well, or the brain zemos, as they're called. I think that's what they're called. Kind of a hybrid of hunters and lickers, in a way. But they're just kind of retarded lickers, if we're being honest. But they actually have a jumping attack, where they can jump on Jill's back and bite her. And that's kind of what the hunt, sorry, the lickers do in the Resident Evil 2 remake. I mean, one of the most disappointing things about the remake 2 for me were the lickers. They're awful. They're absolutely awful. They're not fun to fight, and they're cheap as fuck. And I've watched a few speedrunners, and they're looking behind, you know, to see the lickers. So they must be able to morph cheaply when you're not looking at them. I think they can do that. But that's kind of the way the Brain Zemos work. But that'll be cool. It's such a great enemy design. And um, what else we've got? We've got hunters as well, but we've got those special frog hunters. All the enemies have got to come back. But some of the locations for free are going to be absolutely beautiful. I know this is called a hopes, fears and expectations video. It's more of just a general ramble, to be honest with you. But hey, guys, the outdoor areas are what I want to see more than any other. And I'm not 100% certain, but I have a feeling that those are the kind of areas which are going to cause Capcom the most problems. And any AAA developer 
to make an environment really, really beautiful, a city environment at night time like that, especially one that's kind of post-apocalyptic with buildings crumbling and yet there's still some ele electricity because it's only just gone down and everything. It's all going haywire. That's something that... I can't think of many games doing that. Although I can, but not for a heck of a lot of the game. Do you know what I mean? Like, you're there for 10, 15 minutes and then you move on to another area. But so much of Resident Evil 3 is at night time, outside in the darkness. Parts of it, it's raining, for, for example. And I'm just so excited. The tram as well. The clock tower. The dead factory. The park. Some of the best area. The hospital. The hospital with Carlos. Can't wait for that. Hopefully they'll make Carlos's part better than Jill, um, Ada's and Sherry's for the remake of 2. Because that was completely different, obviously, with the remake of 2. And it was the two worst parts of the game, in my opinion. But there's some beautiful areas. Some of the best in the series, in my opinion. And then, of course, there's Nemesis himself. And I've seen Nemesis, I think it was in a few of the spin-off Resident Evil games. Even though I'm a huge fan of the series and whatnot. The non-canon games. I'm sure some super fan will tell me they are canon, but... You know, the Chronicle games and all those. I'm not really bothered about them, to be honest. I don't like Nemesis' look in those kind of games, if he's in any of them. And the films as well. The original look is the best look. He's completely badass. And I hope they can somehow keep him looking similar. I didn't like what they did with Mr. X in the second game. And also, I fear that Nemesis will become annoying. Because Mr. X is annoying in re Remake 2. Whereas in the original game, he's not annoying. And it's not, not just a case of, oh, you've played the game a lot, so you're not scared of these enemies. No. Like back in remakes. Even when you first play for Resident Evil 2, you know, if you wanted to run away from Mr. X, you took the hit, because he always hit you, and then you moved on. And he didn't transport through rooms. But on your first playthrough, the scary aspect was, you didn't know when he'd turn up again. And when he did... For Claire, it's when he's on that ledge on the third floor of the police station and he um, corners you. That was really, really unsettling. And then I think it's for both B scenarios, the press office where he smashes through the, wa smashes through the wall, brown trousers time, you know what I mean? That is unbelievable. But my personal favourite is purely with Leon B, where you go to Chief Iron's office and the music plays before the black screen goes away and you're like, oh, shit. And that's a narrow corridor where you can't avoid him. But making him an unkillable enemy was a bad idea. Because even in this game, you can kill Nemesis, but it's just incredibly difficult to do. I really, really am intrigued to see how Capcom can integrate the kinds of gameplay that Resident Evil 3 had. I think they're going to struggle, and I think they're going to be stubborn, and I think they're going to give us a product and a game that's very, very similar to Remake 2. And I expect the fans and a lot of people to be happy with that, but I won't be, because I want something a little bit different. I want the zombies to be easy to kill, I want them to be fun to kill, and that doesn't necessarily mean that you take away the survival horror aspect. People in the modern day, especially younger gamers, they have this mentality that um, if the enemies are fun to kill and you enjoy the gameplay, it's not survival horror, and survival horror is games you know, without weapons and all this kind of stuff, but that's completely incorrect. In the old Resi games, you popped a zombie, you know, it took a lot of bullets, five to eight times, I'd say, on average, in the classic Resi games. Pool of blood on the floor, you know they're dead. But they could still play dead, and then grab at your ankles and whatnot. In Resi 2, they, they lunged forward. They were still difficult, but you could avoid them. But it's all about the camera perspective. Got to keep going on about it. You know, even some of my favourite games that have the zombie-like enemies in, they're always faster than they were in those classic Resi games. It's hard to get right in a third-person perspective. Hey, we have not even spoke about the Grave Digger, the Worm, and the way that Nemesis transforms. There's so much to talk about, and uh, the new areas that they could put in the game. But for me, one of the other things that I really love about 3, and one thing I hope they don't butcher, because certain people weren't happy with what they did with the characters in Remake 2, uh, is the supporting cast. I love Carlos. I love Mihail, and you've got Nikolai as well, the traitor, and you've got Dario, the guy at the start. There's some really great characters that you meet along the way. I can't think of anybody else right now. There's that dude who blows himself up when you're Carlos in the hospital. He pulls a grenade pin, nearly kills uh, Nikolai 
and Carlos, which kills himself. That is sick. And the music as well is beautiful. This game will sell well. Uh, for a lot of hardcore Resi fans, they prefer 3 to 2. I am one of them. I always have. I think it's a much better game, personally. But it probably won't sell quite as well. Who knows? I think it probably will, actually. But yeah, Jill as well, the best Resi character alongside Leon, if you ask me. So yes, to sum up, hopes, make the gameplay more fun. Don't make Nemesis annoying, for God's sake. Get the right balance. Make him killable, but make him come back. We don't need to have that element of realism in the game. Because, you know, Nemesis is dead on the floor. Why don't you just keep shooting him and, like, tear his head off and make sure he doesn't come back? But it's old-school Japanese survival horror, so a pool of blood that's purple, and then you just move on and let him come back later. That kind of gaminess, that not gayness, gaminess, you know, and kind of silliness, if you will, with old-school gaming, I want that to return with Remake 3. I think people know what I'm talking about when I say that. But my lord, this has been a bit of a ramble. It's not even been hopes, fears and expectations, but it's been a, bit, a little bit of talk about the remake of 3. In my prediction for the release date, I am going to go... It's really hard to say. You know, they'll have to work the bollocks off to get it out for January 2021. They really will. I don't know... What other games they've got? Devil May Cry's just been finished. I don't even know if it's a different branch of Capcom who do the games. You know what I mean? They've got that nonsense Monster Hunter world which the kiddies love these days. But I'm going to say... Well, mid to late... Two, October 2021. I don't think it'll be a January release. So still over two years yet. I'll be surprised, pleasantly surprised if it's out earlier than that. But hey, sometimes it's good not to rush a great game. You know, it's just... Take your time with it. And, uh, after that, it'll be interesting to see what happens with the Resident Evil series. Because for me, personally, I don't want to see Code Veronica have anything done to it. It's not one of my favourite games in the series. I still like it. It's still classic Resi. But the kind of layout and the design of that game is nowhere near as good as the other Resi. It's very convoluted and frustrating. It's a really difficult game. But not for the right reasons. <clears throat> I remember me and my brother played that back in the day, and it was actually game breaking because I think you like transport, like you were Claire, and then you were Chris, and then you were Claire, and then you were Chris. What you left in the box as Claire was there for Chris, but you didn't know that you would be coming Chris. So we had the grenade launcher and stuff like that not in the box, so Chris had absolutely nothing. Bit daft. But yeah, it seems I think that Resident Evil 8 will still be first person. And at the end of the day, if it's first person, there's going to be a limit to how much I enjoy it because I prefer third person and pre-rendered tank controls. But you know, I keep saying pre-rendered tank controls. I don't want to say that those days are behind us because I think there's an audience for it. I just think that another studio, another developer has to uh, come up with the goods. But by the way, guys, if you are interested in more survival horror, do check out a game called Demo which is by the original makers of the remake of Resident Evil 2, before Capcom told them to put a stop to it. They're an Italian team, a bunch of about 15 to 20 people, I think, maybe a bit smaller, and sometime this year, Demo is coming out heavily inspired by Resi 2. But looks pretty good for an indie game, and that's coming out on PS4, Xbox One, and PC. But yeah, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.